morning, family. Good morning. How you guys doing? What's going on? I know it's been forever, but first let's get the disclaimer out the way because this is going to be a, a a rather lengthy video, um, primarily talking about primarily talking about uh, message has been received. me and everything that goes with me. And if that ain't your thing, and you you know you ain't really trying to hear all that, then it's no problem. You know what I mean? Um, do it moving. Um, my channel is about my life and about um, everything that goes on with it. You know what I mean? Um, from time to time, I do come in and talk about different things that I see and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, I pretty much vlog about um, my life and, you know, like a video diary, you know, to a degree. You know, to see the chapters of my life and to see my progression and, you know, my highs and lows and my weight and, you know, how my kids are growing up. Though you guys don't see them, but when I go back and I watch old videos um, that I posted, it take me back to a place when different things was going on in my personal life that I didn't, you know, share with you guys. So, you know, everybody do their thing on their channel the way that they want to. And as for me, um, this is just the way in which I do mine. And there's times when I don't come on, and when I don't come on, it's because, you know, that part of my life is private. So I'm handling private matters and private issues. It's not that, um, you know, I'm just trying to stay away or anything like that, or I'm trying to keep up with anyone or anything like that. It's, not, it's nothing like that. Um, because for me, when, when you have a channel and you're vlogging about yourself, um, to me, the realest thing about it is, you know, when you need to step away, you're stepping away because it's personal. You know what I mean? And whereas if you're if you have a, vi uh, 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 a channel about other people's lives, you can just keep it going because you're not talking about your stuff. You're talking about other things. So you can just keep it going because we're not talking about me. We talking about the shit I done seen. So, you know, you just keep it going. Well, it's a little bit different. When you're pretty much vlogging about your own personal life, it just sometimes you just got to take a mental break to deal with some things and then come back in and you know what I'm saying and then just simply catch everybody up. Well, so damn, where do I begin? Okay, first let let's go ahead on and filter some motherfuckers out. How about that? Okay, um, now I do uh, I do cuss a lot, so if that ain't really your thing, you might not want to watch it. Um, I'm educated, but I'm rather ebonic. If that's not what, really what you into, then don't watch it. I have a um, a habit of talking about, you know, uh, dicks and pussies. If that ain't your thing, mm, you know what I'm saying? Get to getting. Um, there's really no filter or no breaks on the way in which I would go. Um, sometimes shit just hit me and I just... You know, do some crazy shit. It's just, I'm just kind of impromptu like that. Um, yesterday, I got a, a message about, girl, I can't believe you threw your leg back then. I did not. It was just an impromptu thing. I was on some shit. I was talking about some shit, and bam, it just went like that. You know what I mean? So, um, this is an impromptu channel. If that's not really your thing, and this is my personality, it doesn't have anything to do with nothing else. It's not like I, um, check this out. I done fucked around and got a new nigga in my life. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Hey, babe. Can I call you right back? All right. Bye. I ain't got Buddha. Okay. Anyway. Girls... We're going to talk about that shit in a few more motherfucking minutes. Let's first get Dick and them up out of here first. So anyway, is y'all gone yet? Okay? Because you already see where this shit is going. So if it ain't for you, then don't fuck with it. Okay? Now, for the rest of everybody, come on in this motherfucker. All my G's and motherfucking essays and all my trip niggas, come on back in this motherfucker. We got some shit to talk about, dawg. Get your motherfucking twist on. Get your pipe, whatever you roll with. Go uh, run and go get your Alizé or whatever your get down is. Seagram's gin and orange juice. Whatever you need and whatever you need to roll with, baby. Go get that shit and come on back up in this motherfucker. Huh? Come on back up in this motherfucker. Anyway, first let's start off with this. 
Okay, let's start off with this right here. Well, you know, girls, I started the new year off in a breakup. I really didn't talk about it too much, but I really had to detox, you know. Me and Ken had been together for six years, and, um, you know, it was just me and him. We was on some Bonnie and Clyde type shit, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we was going through a push and pull and, you know, and this and that. And, you know, it was a really, it was, you know, I wasn't trying to go along with that. You know what I mean? My thing was, I knew coming into 2015, I was coming in on a clean slate, which I didn't share a lot about that with you guys. Because it was my, it's my own personal shit. You know what I mean? And so, um, coming into 2015, um... You know, I had some personal things going on. You know, some, some shit was moving about in my cabin. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, I was all over the place. I, I couldn't really, you know, it's like, really, what do I talk about? You know what I mean? It's like the realness in me, once I start talking, nigga, you know, I'm just telling you about what's happening. Straight up. It's, it's It just is what it is. So... You know, it just took me from really talking because, and therefore, loose lips sink ships. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I, I mean, I'm well aware that a closed mouth don't get fed. But I also know that a dumb nigga don't make bread. You know what I mean? So, I knew that I had to shut the fuck up, fall back, drop to a lesser charge, ease up, pull out, back the fuck up, and sit down some goddamn where. That's what Tina had to do. Okay, because it was shit going around, going, I mean, you know, going on here in my personal environment that a nigga was trying to keep motherfuckers out of jail and baby, please. Mm. Anyway, so, um, I was going through the breakup and, you know, still, and then I was going through some other things. And, uh, you know, I was just trying to hold balance, you know, because I'm still, you know, me plus three. So, I, I have to still, you know, save face and be cool, still be mommy and all that old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Still, still cook dinner and all that. You know, it's more than a notion when you go, I ain't never really known too much about this juggling act. And this juggling, this juggling act shit is something else. I, I have so much respect now. So much more respect Okay, that for women that do this, that have four or five kids, seven, eight kids, I don't know how motherfucker, man, I will lose my fucking mind. I mean, on some real shit, when you got to do all this and juggle all this shit around and you got a parents conference to go to at school, this motherfucker right here done had a fight. This one right here, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker still ain't got no driver's license and no job. This one over here still doing a, let me tell you something. And then I still got to run all this right here. Going through a breakup, not want to be bothered with this motherfucker, but still need a little bit of this and that, you know what I mean? But it's like, well, if I give you that, is that going to be it? Does that mean I don't really want you back? I just need you to knock one off of me, you know what I mean? And it's like, I was just going through, man. I was going through, but, um, but you know, I was getting you guys' messages. Oh, my God. Y'all was sending me messages. This morning, Jennifer sent me about four or five motherfucking videos. I was like, okay, wait a minute. What's, what's, what's going on? And shit. My Facebook was rattling off. I had all kind of motherfucking, auntie, where you at? And how you been? And what's going on? And happy Valentine's Day. And what's going on? And boop the bop bop boop boop boop. Man, I was getting all that. I got it, family. And I appreciate the love. Let me tell you something. Y'all love my motherfucking ass. And I am not mad. Let me tell you something. It, nigga, look. Hey, hold up. Okay? This is the adult hour. I'm feeling good about things. Let me just go and say that part. And we just in here, we kicking it. My kids is getting ready for school. I'm back in the Queens. You know what I mean? And so, it is what it is. <sighs> okay. I'm I'm trying to choose my words wisely. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out do I what you know because the camera's rolling. You know what I mean. And realist motherfuckers like me, baby, ain't no breaks. Ain't got no problem with saying what the fuck is on your mind. I'm that one. Okay, I'm that motherfucker. You know, I'm a, a phony motherfucker. I'm not, and I can't be. I don't know. I don't know. I, that's just. I don't know. I guess it's also more than a notion to be a real nigga too. And I guess it's hard for some motherfuckers to just be real. And, and then, you know, and then it's, you know, it comes easy for motherfuckers to be on some bullshit. 
You know, and for me to be on some bullshit is fake to me. Because it's like, oh my God. Nigga, what do I say right there? Because I was getting ready to say some shit. I had to pump, pump the brakes. You know what I mean? Nigga had to put that emergency brake up. So all I could do is pause for the calls. I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. I'm back on. You know what I'm saying? But, um, girls, let me also say this before I go into talking about, um, where I'm at. Um, in my relationship status. But you guys remember I had posted this horoscope thing. And she was talking about Virgos. And so she was saying at the beginning of the year. How things are going to be moving in and out of your life. That shit hit me so close to home. Because from the beginning of the year. I had been getting rid of a lot of stuff around my house. I had been. Um, I had you know told a nigga I was through. So I had, I had kicked out another. That was about 245 pounds right there. You know what I'm saying. Out of my world. Out of my existence. Out of my soul. I was like nigga I'm cool. So I had already dumped 245. And then I was getting rid of. Excuse me, extra things around, th extra things in my garage, you know, downsizing some of my closets and, you know, stuff like that, donating a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I begin to clear things up out of my life and I begin to ask God, you know, for certain things. Girls, let me tell you something. Y'all see I'm getting goggles, uh, gurgles and bubbles. That's because I'm, you know, bringing the air in. Y'all know I got issues, okay? That's the reason I can do this, okay? Because I got issues. But anyway, so I begin to ask God for things. And my thing is, ladies, let me say something. Now, y'all know I'm your motherfucking partner. I can't do nothing but tell you the truth. But let me say this. When you get to going and asking God for things, you better be specific. You better be real specific on what it is that you're asking him for, okay? When you say... Father God, I want you to bring me a good man in my life. Okay. When you say, Father God, I just need a good man in my life to love me past my pain and just, you know what I'm saying, to heal my wounds and whatever. You want some Zorro shit. If that's the case, then therefore you better be very specific about this man that you want him to bring. You just can't just put it just one umbrella. Father God, I need me a good man in my life. Because he's going to bring a good man into your life because that's what you asked. You believed in the process, you had faith in it, and you was patient, right? So, he's going to bring that man, but that man might be on some other shit too. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, he might come, but that motherfucker might be on some whole other shit to go with it, okay? Now, um, in the beginning, in the beginning of, the, uh, of the year, I begin to move you know, things out of my life and shifting things around and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, you guys know that I have been talking to a couple of little youngsters. <laughs> a couple, you know what I mean? But um, nothing sexual. I don't do strange flesh, okay? But, you know, conversations and things of that nature, you know, going out to dinner and things like that. You know, I, I, I go, I, you know, I think it's a certain presence that you have to have to make a man just respect you and not go overboard. You know what I mean? And I think, you know, because, see, me, I don't do, I don't, I, I, don't send me no pictures of your dick because, I, nigga, I'm turned off after that. I mean, I, I don't give a fuck who you are. I, nigga, I don't want to see your package. I don't. Now, after, you know what I'm saying, we done, you know what I'm saying, done, done laid down the night and, you know, we, you, we, you know what I'm saying, we done hit a couple of these and, you know, we done put, you know, had a little drink or whatever have you and the vibe is cool and, you know what I'm saying, we done reached a pivotal moment in the relationship, didn't they? Okay, nigga, what's happening? You know, but just on some regular shit, I'm just meeting you and you telling me about what the circumference is, nigga, I'm throwed off. Because for the most part, when a lot of times when men come right out talking about sex, that's all they really, you know, that, that's their pride and joy. They're going to discuss whatever that is that they pride in. If they pride in their car, they're going to talk a lot about their car. If they pride into their jobs, nigga, you know, man, nigga, this NBA, boo, 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 they're going to just talk primarily about their NBA. If they're about making money, that's all they're going to talk about is making money. Nigga, you're going to be secondary to whatever that is that he's talking about. Okay, just just be mindful. Just watch it. So whenever you first meet a man and he begin to show you pictures of his dick, he's priding on that eggplant shit. You know what I mean? I just found out about it. I had to throw that in right there. You know what I'm saying? Let me just go and throw that in right there. You know? But, um, and so he's, uh, um, 
you know, he's priding on that. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he got it going on that way. He feel like that's his hook. You know what I'm saying? Throw the bait out. She's going she gonna to swallow the boat. You know, that type of shit. So, then therefore, you know, some women really bite on that. But then, after you get to a certain, you know, get to a certain space in life, nigga, you ain't, don't send me none of that. I'm, I, I don't need to, what, what? You know what I'm saying? After a certain years in your life and you begin to prioritize in your world, you ain't got time for motherfuckers showing you no dicks and shit. I mean, it's just like, nigga, what, what we talking about? For real? Nigga, if you don't run that shit to Carolyn, because I'm, I'm cool. I, I, because in there for, if, if you sending me pictures of your dick, that was a picture that you done took a month ago. How many motherfuckers have seen it before I seen it? You know what I'm saying? Because them ain't the same pants that you had on a while ago. So I'm just trying to figure out. Now you sitting up with some whole Because girls, look, check this out. When they send you pictures of their dick and stuff, Look at the background of the motherfucker. See if it's daylight outside. See if they're in the bathroom. If it's a different bathroom than what you're accustomed to seeing at their house. Look and see if you see a motherfucking uh, 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 air conditioner against the wall and motherfucking um, bed and two um, nightstands on each side. Nigga, they in Motel 6, nigga. You know, brothers, y'all need to watch what kind of pictures y'all be posting and shit on some real shit. Look at the background of these motherfuckers. And really, um, hold on. Ladies, too. Ladies, too, when you get the post, let me turn this down, because, yeah, baby sent me a picture, and, uh, let me look at it right quick. Hold on. Don't get mad at me. I got to see what's going on. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Bam. Okay, cool. Okay, but, when you're sending pictures to people, you really need to be mindful of what's going on in the background. Don't just be sending no pictures and shit. You standing outside of the room all like on one of these selfie type motherfuckers. And I'm seeing all these doors matching alike. And they all on the outside. Which means, nigga, you at Super 8, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I done seen so much of that bullshit. And motherfuckers don't even realize, nigga, you showing that you pictures in the motherfucking motel room. You was in a motel room. That means everything is in this one motherfucking 12 by 12. There's a refrigerator right there if you got one. There's an air conditioner right there. A bullshit little table and chairs. A little small one like you finna do some homework, okay? And then you got this motherfucking bed spread on there. And you put a blue light on that motherfucker. God damn, nigga, you gonna find everybody on Megan's Law. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got the bathroom. You got the mirror right there with the motherfucking sink and shit. Ask me how I know. You know what I mean? Ask me how I know. Because I done stayed at a few of them motherfuckers. It's not the fuck that I was, you know, fucking up in them motherfuckers. But I have traveled. And I ain't always stayed in, you know, three and four star spots. I ain't always stayed there. So, anyway. But, yeah, when y'all posting them pictures and shit. And especially when you posting pictures in the bathroom. Make sure ain't no pink toothbrushes right there on the countertop. You know what I'm saying? If you are a man and you taking pictures. Make sure you look around that motherfucking bathroom. Because if I see some skin to mint in the shower, then therefore that's some women shaving gel and shit. If I fuck around and see a pink buff puff hanging from the motherfucking nozzle, nigga, uh, what does that tell y'all, ladies? Y'all better pay attention. And brothers, if you checking out her selfies and she got that ass popped up on the countertop right there, because you know we got to pop it up on the countertop because it's going to give an extra curvature to it. So you put that ass up like that just a little bit, just pop, pop that up there right there like that right there. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. Stick with it. Bam. Nigga, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to take about four or five of them. You know what I mean? But anyway, but if you happen to see some old spice, you already know the lid is red. You happen to see some old spice on that motherfucker. You happen to see all black. That's a uh, uh, axe. You happen to fuck around and see some green shit, nigga. Is that brute? Excuse me. What's going on? What's going on? Even if you see some tall motherfucking glass bottles right here made by motherfucking Jordash, knock off some Coco Chanel and all that old type of shit. Yeah, they, yeah, look. Am I, am I the only motherfucking one that buy them? I buy them. I don't give a two fucks about it. Nigga, I'll go to the 99 cents only store, nigga, with a coupon. Buy three, get one free. Nigga, if you don't give me that Coco Chanel and that motherfucker, nigga, that's White Diamond. Uh, uh, run me, uh, J-Lo, Glow. Yeah. I know I ain't the only motherfucking one that's buying this shit. I know I got me quite a few of them motherfuckers in my bathroom. You understand me? I just like it. Uh, whatever. But when you're taking pictures... Bottom line is, when you taking pictures, 
Look at the background of some of them motherfucking pictures and shit. Because a lot of people ain't paying attention to the background. If you're in a mirror and it's splashing shit all on the wind, on the mirror, that shit is a reflection and it's reflecting back on you. Nigga is showing everything else that's in the back and shit. So if there's some draws on the ground, okay? The draws is on the ground in the back. She don't even know that the draws is on the ground in the back. Nigga, there's some draws right there. You need to pay attention when you're putting these pictures and things up. Well, anyway, back on... To what you asking God for. Well. I begin to ask God for. You know bring a good man in my life. You know. I don't want I don't want to fuck with nobody else's dude. You know what I mean. And one thing about. You know uh, dealing with niggas that's in the entertainment business. And stuff like that. Athletes and stuff. Nigga you ain't the only one. You are not. I'm, I'm sorry boo boo. You are not the only. I don't, nigga I don't give a fuck if you Malaysia. Or any of them motherfuckers. You are not. The only one. And I could sit up in here, okay? I could sit up in this motherfucker with a few of my girls. And I'm telling you right now, when we get to talking about men, we get to talk about men that works for FedEx Ground. We get to talk about niggas that work down there at motherfucking uh, Mannheim. And we talk about niggas that play for Woop Woop. We talk about niggas that sing back up for Neo. We talk about all these different types of niggas, okay? When I be sitting around with my girls. That's away from YouTube. And we get to talk about these men because, you know, we've all done pretty much, you know, at least went on a, out on a date with different types of men. So, you know, we get to talking about this shit and the consensus is all the same. The consensus is all the same. So, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, I'm not saying that all dudes cheat. Let me just be crystal clear. Not all men cheat. Because if he really love you all like that and he really, you know, got you on some pedestal type shit, he ain't really looking at nobody else. One day I was in the store last week and it was this fine motherfucker behind me. And I was like, nigga, I had to pop my ass up on that. Nigga, if you don't lock that in, you know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker's right here behind my back, nigga. He's seeing everything. If you don't lock that in, you know what I'm saying? Do you know this motherfucker didn't give me a... I said, you know what? And of course, bitch in me was like, you know, that nigga's on some dick any motherfucking way. You know, just like me and say shit to us, be like, oh, some old, that bitch, nigga. If your whole motherfucking hair is rocking when you move that your shit like that, nigga, it's time to get your shit redone. You know, you know they say shit about us, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, girls, when you scratching your motherfucking head and the whole shit shift, nigga, it's time to go and call, call your girl up and tell her it's time to get that shit redone. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they say that shit about us when we don't want to really talk about them. Nigga, this motherfucker was behind me, girls. Let me tell you something. Nigga, I don't know what really, I don't really know what nationality he was all the way. Because I was over there at my Mexican market that I go to. I like to go and get teacher rooms. I like to get them in the morning because they be hot right out the grease. They just done put the sea salt on the motherfucker. I don't know what kind of salt that is, but god damn, it got to be sea salt or something. Because that shit, you don't really see no speckles of salt on there, but it just be right the right amount. Now, I done went to two or three different Mexican spots. I done paid for all kind of teacher rooms and all them motherfuckers ain't the same. But this one spot that I go to over here on motherfucking baseline, oh my God. When I come in, eh, thina, 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 ay, my mic, da, da, all that shit. Oh yeah, when I come in there, baby, sometimes they don't even wait my shit. They just gonna give me a couple of pieces. Here you go, mama, see that, no problem. No problem, no problem, no problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no problem when I go in there. You know what I mean? So... I really don't know what nationality he was because I was in the Mexican market. But I could tell, you know, based on his shit, he was a little Rico Suave. You know what I mean? He had his shit all pulled back. The motherfucker really brushed it all back real good. It was curled up on the tip. It was real short, but it was curled up on the tip. And shit, I said, like, you know what? Nigga, this is one of them old school Miami Vice motherfuckers right here. Fine motherfucker. Had nice shoes and shit on that tied up, that laced up some leather ones. It was really nice. They didn't curl up at the tip, so you know he wasn't on dead. So... I, you, when I first seen him, I was like, you know what, this motherfucker here, you know, and I was like, shit, let me go and lock this in right quick. He gonna say something. I already know he finna say something. That motherfucker didn't give me the time of day. That motherfucker was like, that nigga was looking at his bread and shit. Because, you know, he had got him, because right there at the register, they got the little, um, 
things that you open up and you get your pink bread and bread with sprinkles and shit. And I don't know what they call them at the Mexican market, but they got all kind of cookies and shit out there. I, that's really not peanut butter because I bought one of the motherfuckers, nigga. That, that was not peanut butter. So I don't know what kind of shortbreads and cookies and cakes and shit this is all brown and brown and red stuff and shit. But he was in there getting all kinds. That motherfucker had a whole tray of motherfucking breads. I want this one, that one, this one. One looked like a croissant. I said, oh shit. I don't know what the shit he was, but nigga, I was keyed. I was like, you know what? Ooh, damn. He bent all over and shit, motherfucking bicep, tricep, all that all linked up. I said, oh, yeah, here we go, shit. I might have to get that nigga a number just to give it. You know what I mean? That motherfucker stood behind me, shit. I even dropped some shit to see what's going to happen. That motherfucker was like, bitch, you better get your shit. Pay for all your shit, too, while you're bullshitting. You know what I mean? Now, I've, I've been in lines where, where men have just paid for all my shit. I mean, I know of some other ladies that have had that happen. Oh my God, I was in, I, nigga, a, a few times in my life that I done went through the line and shit and, you know, a man be behind me or whatever and he'll pay for my shit. I've had that happen at McDonald's and all kind of different motherfucking wiener snitch or all kind of motherfucking places and shit. You know what I'm saying? Even at Target one time, I think I did a video about that time one time too and shit. Motherfucking gay chick went on pay for all my motherfucking... Man, I done had that shit happen before a few times in my life where there's a bad motherfucker right behind me. <clears throat> oh, that's all she got? I got all that right there. No problem. Just gonna bag her shit up. Uh, baby, you gonna need some help getting this out to the car because I got you on that. Just bag all her shit up. Baby, you want plastic or paper? Huh? I done had it happen before, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real motherfucker. I'm telling you what I know. Not some shit I done read, okay? That shit exists, Okay? But, bottom line is, let me get back to the motherfucking script, okay? Um, when you asking God for a blessing, you have to be specific because he's going to simply give you what you ask for. So whatever that is you ask for, you better be real specific. I want him to be black. I want that nigga to not go over 42, uh, uh, 32. I want that motherfucker to not go over them goddamn three X's, you know what I mean? Huh? Who is it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Egypt. What's up, Nanu? So, um, yeah, you got to be specific on what it is that you ask God for. Because, nigga, yeah, he going to bring you a badass motherfucking man, but goddamn, his breath ain't going to be right. The motherfucker, uh, motherfucker trying to move in. All man, baby, listen, you better be specific. I'm trying to watch my motherfucking words right now. Okay, Tina, calm down. Okay, um, so you got to be specific, girls, about what it is you ask God for. Well, I was asking God, God, you know, I really want me a good man in my life. And, you know, one thing I've never had in my life was monogamy. I've had all kinds of things in my life. I've seen all kinds of things, traveled this nation. I've done a whole bunch of things in my life. I've shook hands with the, some of the coolest of motherfuckers. You know, parlayed and partied with the coldest motherfuckers. Done put one up in the air with the coldest weed smokers. I done done some real cool shit in my life for 43 years. You know what I mean? And so, it's like, now, you know, I just, can I just get a nigga that just say, you know what, this is it? I mean, do I not qualify for a this is it, motherfucker? That's what I want at this point in time. You know what I mean? I'm not looking for a motherfucker to come in, take care of my kids, and pay my house payment, and all this other kind of shit, and put me in a home, and buy me a car, and baby, I need you to do this, and baby, I, I'm not really, I'm not in that, I'm not in that category anymore. You know what I mean? I'm not Zorro, I don't already zorro this whole spot already. You know what I mean? So at this point in time, you know, I want somebody that's going to come in, and it's going to love me, and love me past my pain, and you know what I'm saying? Be good to me. Make sure you take her out, please. Yeah, because see, she needs a bath and she wants to jump up here on my bed and it's going to be a bad situation. So please take her out when you go out. Okay. okay. And so, anyway, girls, I begin to ask God for some cool shit. There it is. I was just kind of prolonging things because I didn't want to just say too much. My daughter was in here, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I was asking God for this, you know what I'm saying? God, bring me this man in my life, you know? And so... Let me tell you something. Not only did he bring me a good man in my life, but he brought me a man in my life with a big ass motherfucking dick, too. Damn. I mean, not only was I blessed with a. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm happy. Girls, I'm so motherfucking happy. And when I tell you 
He's not in the entertainment business, which that is so cool for me because I don't want to deal with the politics thereof. It's a lot of politics with that, you know. They be on a lot of highs and lows and emotional roller coasters, and a lot of times them niggas don't be sober. They don't be sober because they have to go from one coast to the next coast, and they have to go overseas and so many other things to whereas you won't meet nobody in the entertainment business. Let me, let me be crystal clear. You will not meet nobody okay, in an entertainment business that don't take illicit drugs or prescription drugs or some pharmaceutical motherfucking drugs, some kind of way, because you have to be able to get some rest, you have to be able to eradicate that jet lag, and especially if you guys notice, you know, when a new movie come out, they have to go on, on, on a press tour. And so they have to go from city to city to city and do all these press tours and, you know, premieres and all this kind of stuff. Have you ever wondered when you watch Entertainment Tonight or whatever, okay, they in New York City last night, but then the next, the next motherfucking night, them niggas was in Oregon, okay, where they had to get some sleep. And a lot of times when you're on like that, sometimes you can't get no sleep. There's a lot of times you simply crash. So a lot of times they need, you know, that little Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying, to put their ass to sleep just so they can rest. If nothing else, they take an ambient. Let me just be clear, okay? I don't want to throw nobody under the bus. That's why I'm choosing my words wisely. But I have not met anyone that works in that genre that don't at least take a sleeping pill. It's, it's, it's just custom. It's, it's, not, it's like not a big deal. Or smoke, smoke a little motherfucking weed. A lot of people smoke weed. More people than, that you wouldn't even realize smoke a lot of motherfucking weed. Because one thing about smoking weed, depending on which one you got, whether you got an indica, a hybrid, or a sativa, you know, it could do different things. Now, sativa, I don't want to turn this into some other shit now, because you know I could do that. There's no problem. Okay, but a sativa is going to get your creative juices flowing. And um, it's kind of an upper, and it and it puts you in a good headspace and a good, you know, where you can go out there and do an interview and be funny to the motherfucker. You can go out there, you can be you can be enticing if you need to, engaging if you need to, whatever it is that you need to do. Take a couple of puffs of sativa, and you got that, okay. 